Nancy Pelosi just notched a victory the Democrats will live to regret. The Democrats came roaring out of the midterms. They claimed a blue wave handed them a mandate to turn Donald Trump's life upside down. But that all came to a screeching halt when Nancy Pelosi notched this victory the Democrats will live to regret. Democrats seized back power in the House of Representatives and immediately faced one giant problem what to do with Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi has led the Democrat caucus in the House since 2003. And she presided over the 2010, 2014, and 2016 Democrat wipeouts. Under her watch, Democrats have shrunk to their fewest number of House members since the 1920s. In the run-up to the midterm elections, Republicans won seven of the eight congressional special elections. And they won the most competitive of these races the contest in Georgia's 6th Congressional District because they framed the contest around a national referendum on Nancy Pelosi. Republican Karen Handel defeated Democrat John Ossoff, despite Ossoff raising an unheard of $30 million for a congressional race. This election loss spooked a number of Democrats. As a result, over 50 Democrats made opposing Pelosi as Speaker of the House a centerpiece of their congressional campaigns. When it became clear the Democrats would win back the House on election night, the talk in Washington immediately pivoted to Pelosi's future. The rebel Democrats who were opposing Pelosi had enough votes to deny her the Speaker's gavel. Seventeen members of Congress signed a letter opposing her bid to become Speaker of the House a second time. And since Democrats held 238 seats after the midterms, 